do another video. It's been like a million years since the last time I posted on my YouTube. But um, today, what we're going to talk about, well, what we are going to talk about is how to maintain your flow, um, your confidence, and kind of like your rhythm while also going to school at the same time because it's incredibly difficult to not only be in school for art but to try to work on your stuff on the side while you are in school and all of us deal with the illustration students graphic design students all of us deal with it so it's always good to kind of see how to manage it and stuff i'm still learning how to manage it myself so yeah if you guys want to follow me on all of my socials uh there are all down below i just launched my patreon so if you're interested in learning how i draw and my style and workflow uh go check out there anyway let's do it all right so it's been like a really weird time i just finished my sem my first semester as like a hybrid student with illustration and graphic design and excuse me it's just been like one of those like really busy busy semesters um and it was really really difficult to manage i would say the hardest thing would be not only trying to keep up with your assignments because the assignments were large we had to use large paper materials that we weren't necessarily always familiar with and stuff and uh just kind of trying to keep that flow and rhythm um but i will say the things that i was able to learn this past semester really really helped me as far as progressing my skills progressing not only mentally as an artist but endurance uh because that's what it, if you've been in like any type of art classes anything you would know that it takes it takes a lot of endurance to just continuously just go and create and whatnot um there were times this past semester where I just felt like, man, I'm just like tired of drawing. Do I even really want to do this? Of course you want to do it, but um, you don't realize what good it does until after the fact. Um, for a lot of for a lot of other people that I've heard from and whatnot, they get burnt out really, really fast, and they get into an art block stage. And the same exact thing happened to me, and I tried to avoid it so hard, but it's really difficult when it's like every day you're constantly, oh, I need to finish this drawing. Oh, I have this 16 by 24 uh, graphite charcoal thing I need to finish. I need to do this. I have to paint this. I have to paint that. That stuff like piles on top of you. And the sheer amount of stuff that you're learning at the same time, it can be very overwhelming very, very fast. Um, For me, one thing that I learned um, during this time was create in between and not starting on those assignments too late so that you have not only quality assignments but you have time to work on other stuff as well I remember at the beginning of the semester I was very 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 focused I was ready to go every class it was just like let's go out there let's go kill it let's go do this let's go do that but by the time you get to like week like eight week nine week ten you hit a stretch where it's just like man what am i doing um and it could be very very difficult to snap out of it and it could be very difficult to try and go create your own things um for me personally i found it very very difficult to try to concept new ideas uh especially for like not only content creation but just like drawing in general sketching in general it just seemed tedious um the only thing that i can say will that um those classes will like super progress on is your stamina when drawing you can learn a lot of the things at home by yourself if you have the time and patience but it uh those art classes and stuff it requires not only stamina but it also requires your focus it requires your time a lot of your time is dedicated to drawing that's all you're doing is drawing um so in between those kind of like breaks and stuff like we got spring break and stuff or there would be a week where our professor's like only draw in your sketchbook uh we're not gonna have class this day but for the next day 
those pockets in between those are your times to rest it is very very crucial and important that you get your creative rest take a day to just watch anime take go take a walk go gain some new inspiration from somewhere uh and that'll help you refresh 100 percent uh it's not always the way that you'd want to refresh but it definitely helps um for most people they would just go do something new try something new for me i wanted to try that as well so i started i started playing the piano every once in a while and that helped to kind of alleviate a lot of that creative pressure that i was feeling to go out and create to go out and make videos um and to just be free and fall in love with art again um by the end of the semester i was ready to just go and just apply everything that i had learned that semester and i can say everything that i learned that this past semester i have implemented into my art now some one way or one way or the other even like in this video um the drawing I could not draw cloth to save my life. We spent what felt like four weeks on cloth alone. It started off with freeform cloth and it was drapery over stuff. And it was uh, sculpture drapery and drawing this and drawing that and lighting with drapery and all of that. And it worked. And being able to see where you improve on from where you've been, that is always a blessing. Um, but also keeping in mind that you focused and you really wanted to get better at um, different areas of your artwork. I can say the most important thing to do um, if you are in a college level art class or whatever, ask your professor so many questions that it's like a lot. Ask them questions, write down your questions. These questions will help progress you so much farther. There's things that my professor taught me or things that he would tell me that he wouldn't necessarily say in the session, whether it be critiquing or just in general, just sitting there. If you go up and ask questions, you will progress. Um, there was times where he would show me like this perspective grid and I'm like, what the heck is this? But now I use it all the time when I'm learning how to draw different angles and stuff. Um, another thing would just be just making your own artwork and then asking for critique from your professor. It doesn't just have to be classwork that you're asking for critique on. You can ask critique on your personal work as well. And that helped me develop uh, a sense of confidence in different areas and skills that I wasn't so sure about before. And it was really helpful because he would answer all of them in like depth, like he would just go into detail. So be sure to ask those big questions. Be sure to have fun with your art. Be sure to just be free and you will be good. I'll see you next week. Stay safe.